It is an ongoing story that Target 8 has tracked since 2010. A female student at Forest Hills Central claims she was sexually assaulted by a star male athlete. The athlete pleaded guilty to a lesser charge, but two months ago, the alleged victim filed suit against the district in federal court. 24-Hour News 8's Mark Thompson is here with the district's response. Mark? Rick, the lawsuit basically claims that the district turned its back on the alleged victim to protect the star athlete. The district says that's not true. And tonight, we have police reports that shed some light on exactly of what happened. The suit centers around 2010 accusations that a star male athlete sexually assaulted a female student in the band room here at Forest Hill Central. The suit claims, among other things, that the district discouraged the alleged victim and family from contacting police. However, police reports obtained by 24 Hour News 8 show the school's principal contacted the liaison officer on the same day the alleged victim came forward with a note she handed to a teacher. When this matter was first brought to the attention of the principal, he did two things right away. He called the police and he called the parents immediately. And that's exactly what we wanted to see administrators do in these type of instances. The report also details in-school video showing the alleged victim and suspect walking together before and after leaving the band room. The district has claimed all along that the two appeared to be acting friendly toward one another after the alleged incident took place. The report details investigators speaking with another female student who had also accused the athlete of sexual assault but later recanted. It reveals this student knew the first alleged victim and admitted to writing the note the first student gave to the teacher to report the initial assault. The lawsuit also claims the district turned its back to in-school and online harassment, forcing the alleged victim to transfer schools. Again, the district says not true. Our answer in the court shows that any time any request or allegation was brought forward during this matter, we responded to that. Uh, we take student safety and student well-being as our number one priority. One major aspect in the victim's favor is that the Federal Department of Education Civil Rights Office already completed an investigation that found the district didn't do enough under Title IX. The superintendent says that investigation lacked key interviews, was incomplete and unfair.